In this video, we're going to talk about a very common dental condition in cats called feline resorptive lesions. This is abbreviated to FRL. Confusingly, sometimes it is also referred to as FORL or resorptive lesions. Whatever you or your vet calls it, it is the exact same thing. We're going to talk about what it is, why it is important, and how to identify it. Cats are masters of disguise, and as a result, many cats live in pain without ever telling us. Cats experience pain just as we do, and many of us know just how debilitating oral pain can be. It is really important to make sure that we are getting our cats' mouths checked regularly to ensure that they are not hiding a painful condition from us. Resorptive lesions are holes that can develop in your cat's teeth. They are most common around the gum line, but they can occur anywhere on the tooth, including on the root. These lesions can occur in all teeth, but some teeth are more prone to the lesions than others, including the upper and lower premolars and the lower canines. These holes can be painful for your cat if the hole exposes the sensitive root canal of the tooth. As the hole gets larger, it can cause the bit of the tooth that we see above the gum line to fracture and break off. And this can leave a painful piece of sharp tooth above the gum line and it leaves the roots in place which leaves the pop cavity and the nerve of the tooth exposed which is super painful for your cat. Cats are really prone to these lesions much more so than humans or dogs. We do not know why that is but many cats over the course of their life will develop these lesions on their teeth. Many owners wonder if they did something to cause these lesions or if they could have done something to prevent them. The simple answer to that is no. This is something that happens in cats. We do not know why, but it is not because you are not caring for your cat. These lesions are not similar to cavities in humans, so they cannot be filled. Any tooth with a resorptive lesion should be extracted as it is likely to already be painful for your cat or it will become painful at a later date. These resorptive lesions can be difficult to identify, but sometimes there is a telltale sign where a little bit of inflamed gum can grow over the hole at the level of the gum line. If your vet sees this, it is very likely that the tooth has a lesion. The other way to identify these lesions is by probing the tooth with a narrow blunt probe around the gum line. In this case, your vet may find a hole in the tooth, but this can be very difficult to do in a conscious cat. Many times these lesions are not visible and quite often they are found during a dental procedure, either by probing or when the teeth are x-rayed. With x-ray you can see these lesions in the tooth. Sometimes they are present in the root and sometimes they are present in the crown of the tooth, which is the bit of the tooth above the gum line. With x-ray you can spot these lesions before they become more severe and that way the tooth can be removed before it becomes painful. And this is why it is really important to make sure that your vet performs dental x-rays during your cat's dental procedure. Despite this being a painful condition for cats, many cats will not show any signs that their mouth is painful until the condition is quite advanced and their mouth is very painful. At this stage, some cats will eat on one side of their mouth, some cats may drop food and some cats may drool. I have even seen many cats that stop eating their wet food because of sore mouths and they only eat dry food. They seem to have developed a way to pick it up, throw it to the back of their mouth and swallow it and do very little chewing. So if your cat suddenly changes their eating habits, you should consider if it may be due to a sore mouth. I have more resources on my website, allcats.co.uk and if you have topics that you would like to see a video on, please let me know and I will be happy to make one for you. See you in the next video.